Focus on Diversity with Troy Shaw. And welcome back to the program. Welcome to our Diversity News Forum. You know, you were really about to go off there for a minute, Rich. But I'm going to let you chew on this one right here. You know, it's very, very interesting that African-American conservatives are always deemed as people who are not what they are, African-American. They have, literally have their race stripped from them when they are conservative and black. What do you have to say about that, Rich? I, I, I think you're right. I see that. If, if, if an African-American who comes out in a conservative position uh, very often gets attacked as not really being African American. Kind of Lisa Rice, uh, Colin Powell. Colin Powell, you know, those, those, those are very good examples. Recently, uh, there was somebody in Milwaukee on, on black radio, on the, on the radio station that they were attacking. And I, I, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I, I'm going to attack you okay. later on. And it's a shame because the fact of the matter is, some of these issues are not race issues. Mm -hmm. Some of these issues are just living in Milwaukee issues and what's best for Milwaukee. Whether you're Hispanic, Hmong, black, white, it doesn't matter. It's just an issue. Mm. And, and race doesn't necessarily have to come into it, but people always want to wrap race around every issue, mm. and sometimes it just isn't there. What do you think about that, Tim? Well, actually, and I think it would be helpful uh, if that philosophy were carried through into the political environment, because I think uh, both parties, to a certain extent, get locked into bases uh, based on, on, on race. And the more people are willing to um, speak out and follow issues and cross those uh, party lines, uh, the more uh, emphasis going to place on parties coming together to make agreements that uh, that benefit the community. I've got to ask you a question here, Robert. Is, is Clarence Thomas black to you? Clarence Thomas is a black man. Okay, okay. But he's a conservative in political ideology. Yeah, yeah and, so, and, and, so, and so. Does that make him any less black? It, it shouldn't make him any less black. However, you know, there are questions as to the conservative political agenda as opposed to the progressive political agenda, as opposed to the liberal progressive agenda. And these agendas all combined have certain elements that benefit True. certain But they do not trump race. I mean, here's no, the they do not. They do not, race. and they should not right. trump race. And they will never trump race. But that race is the Democratic... The bottom line is skin color in Milwaukee does matter. Mm -hmm. And in, in the Journal Sentinel this week, you had this big front page about Lee Holloway, and then in the Metro, there's this front page about Scott Jensen. Mm -hmm. I think Scott Jensen should have been in the front uh -huh. and Lee should have been in the metro. That is indeed. That Ex except that Lee's new news and Scott's old news. Well, Scott and, also, and the, also and represents news, news that possibly is going to be happening in the future and that there could be other legislatures involved in this whole scandal that occurred in Madison. I think it's so very, it, I think it's it, very, it brings, very interesting though. It, it brings an issue of race into the element again and those kinds of things continue to permeate in our society. Well, what do you think, Rich? Oh. Well, are we talking about Lee Holloway now? <laughs> I've lost I'm, where we are. Well, I'm, I'm, my point, my point is, is that you know, conservatives, conservatives have these kinds of issues, and you can comment on the Lee Holloway situation. I find it very interesting that Lee Holloway is being brought up on, 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 on these kinds of charges, but I haven't heard not one word about the county board on the museum. The museum board being brought up on the front page at all, and and the implication they stole might be million. well, they, the I implication might be that Lee Holloway is black and the and the museum officials are white. I mean, there might be an implication. Oh, that's an implication. I disagree. Yes. I mean, you're talking about two very different things. The muse, in the museum situation, nobody is accused of a conflict of interest. Nobody is accused of taking money out of the museum. The accusation there was money improperly used within the museum, endowment fund money used for operating. In Lee Holloway's situation, and, and let's, I want to make this real clear too. Please, please. Lee Holloway has not been found guilty of anything. Of anything. And in this country, a man is innocent until proven guilty. He has charges against him, but while he, uh, until he's found guilty, he has a right to hold his seat unless the county board removes him, and there's a lot of criticism, he should step down and everything else. He has a right for what he's doing. But, but, in his case, he's being accused of impropriety yeah. that personally might have lined his pocket if the accusations are true. Okay. That's very different than, than the museum situation. Okay, we got to go to the next, sub next subject here because I want to talk about black radio. There's a radio station here called 1290 WMCS that has just hired a... Vi a, 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 a a, a white gentleman, a very well-respected, liberal-oriented white gentleman named Joel McNally, Joel McNally to lead that chair. Now, African Americans had coveted that radio station for intellectual conversations. What do you think about that, uh, Robert Miranda? Please. <laughs> it's a business move by the, by the management of WMCS. Okay, They're obviously trying to attract white white uh, right. listening audience. How can and, a black radio station be black when one of its lead hosts is, well, is does not does it black? have but, to be a black radio but, station or is it a liberal it? radio station? If you're in business to make money, <laughs> money knows no color. Would you, would you say the same thing if that was a Hispanic station? And then they, they do it all the time. We don't have any Spanish stations owned by any Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, do you, 
I mean, but I think in this case, this is a, a radio station that up until this point has catered to the African American community. I don't think you just need African Americans to speak to the African American community, but since the shoe is always put on the other foot, I'd certainly raise the question, since this is a key morning uh, radio spot, mm -hmm. that they couldn't find somebody else to fill that spot exactly, in the African American Exactly, gentlemen. Community. That is, they could not find, excuse me, the management over there at WMCS, you couldn't find <laughs> one African American that could do this job. That is a poor testament but in of fairness, their efforts. Joel McNally is very qualified. Oh, he's qualified. And, and and, he's, and he does have a liberal point of view. Liberal? Oh, my God, he's ultra-liberal. I know. <laughs> okay. Just to the left of the mouse. But does that tongue, make but him any less white? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and there white. we go. But, I mean, the beauty of radio <laughs> is, radio. when you really come down to it, the beauty of radio is, in a lot of cases, you don't know what the color of the speaker is, okay? No. Most people don't realize that Mark Belling is black and that Charlie Sykes is Hispanic. No, I'm okay, kidding. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm kidding. They aren't. Um, but, I mean, in, you're talking radio, okay? Does it really matter the color of the person? It, in, in the case of this radio station, it's a liberal radio station. They have a liberal commentator. Mm -hmm. I think he fits in. I mean, before, I, I would have to say, and I'll say it in my closing comments, I think it was a bad, bad move, and 1290 should have been able to find an African-American intellectual to be able to speak on that, that station. And where we come back, we're going to have our closing comments. Stay with the heat. Focus on diversity. We'll be right back.